All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome to another episode of King's Cave 80. Uh, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for all your support. Really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, Carlos. How welcome, you doing? Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, Mr. Isaias, we'll pass it down the, the line. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. Finally, I have a camera. We've been having a lot of episodes where I'm behind the scenes. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm back right here. We need to... We need to yeah. we need we need to put more on the in the production, I'm man. Producer, <laughs> Every right? time a, 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 um, a guest comes in, like he's like, yes, he's left with no camera and, and no chair. He stands no up. Chair. Yeah, yeah, he has, <laughs> <laughs> he has to stand up. Like, <laughs> right, no chair. Right, no chair. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so he's like, yes, he's back on camera. Uh, yeah, I'm going to create a new union, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> oh like, man, yeah. here we go. Now here we go not, with the union. Now, now that Biden left office, now <laughs> he wants to create a union. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god let's not get political <laughs> here man uh how you been brother What's oh that? man pretty happy pretty happy yeah man i got to score some good stuff that, i know you know i was really really ha- I, was, I was really happy on sunday it's been it's been a it's been a good couple of days um or a couple of weeks back for the for the collections both yours and i guess hey, mine you know, it, was fu- it was funny that I mean, I would say about a month ago, we we're both like, ah, you know, we gotta chill. You gotta, you know, <laughs> man, it's been kind of slow. That's, and that's yeah, it, it, that's 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 how the 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 house collecting goes, right? So you never, it's, it's, pa- it's part of the thrill, yeah. Because you you think, oh, I'm gonna slow down, I'm gonna save some money. It's kind of like nothing has popped up, mm-hmm. but then all of a sudden, like out of nowhere, you find great figures, pieces, prizes. Uh, trades stuff like that that you weren't oh, yeah. expecting and then i'm like oh man like now i have to to do that i think I, it just keeps it the keeps thrill you, keeps thrill, you the, yeah, yeah keeps your you on your toes right mm-hmm. so i think i think it was it's been it's been fun and and well let's let's talk about well, i got a couple of nice pieces you got you got some nice pieces too let's let's we went to a let's give you a, a little bit of a background like uh, we went to a toy show in dallas mm-hmm uh, a little bit more background. We are located in Houston. Yeah. So we both are, we are born in Texas, uh, but Dallas is kind of like a four hour drive. So we decided to go. A friend of ours, uh, good, uh, good, uh, good old Jose, mm-hmm. uh, invited us. And I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's, let's, let's see what. Uh, and we already know that Dallas has like some good stores and vendors. But I guess I don't I don't I don't I've been to one of the like the North Dallas tour shows mm-hmm. and it was good. But this one kind of like, well, honestly, this is my first experience I ever uh, that I ever gone to Dallas for action figure. I've I never been to Dallas to go toy hunting. Oh, never. So you popped your cherry right there. Yeah, you go. <laughs> there you go. And it was good. And it was good. <laughs> <laughs> you liked it, right? <laughs> it's fun. It's fun because you've been in a lot of toy shows, but you've always been as yeah. a... As a, as a but more so doing it, but here in town, of course, you know, here here in Houston, Texas. And, um, you know, it was a new experience for me. And, I, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of fun, a lot of good things, you know, we we're going to talk about. And... Uh, I mean, just a road trip itself is, you know, it was a long drive, but something we're not, I'm not used to doing traveling to go to a toy show, but it was fun, man. I, you I know, think, I, yeah, compared to the one, like I did one to Ohio, mm-hmm. that, that road trip, like to Dallas is nothing compared to driving, I don't know, 16, 18 hours to, to Ohio, yeah. right? But, uh, but it was also totally worth it. Uh, yeah, I think, I think uh it was it was pretty cool we saw we saw things that you don't normally see here mm-hmm. uh in the houston area i'm not sure if it was because it was one of those bigger shows you know the ones that had yeah two days a little bit two of celebrities show, right? couple mm-hmm. like the two show the two day shows so i'm not sure if it was because it was one of those because you have different type of or different level of toshas right so let's talk mm-hmm. about that right so you have those that like the local toshas that good friend of you you know kind of like puts together invites yeah. a couple of vendors uh, most people is local they kind of like pull out some of their collections or some of the stories like mm-hmm. the issue with that is like the more you do the more often you do that kind of like as a local vendor or or or, or assistant to the show mm-hmm. it becomes repetitive yes right so you know what this guy is going to bring you know what this guy is going to bring so and if, especially if you do one season, you know, there's there seasons, right? So when you start like going to a toy show mm-hmm. locally, like every two weeks, 
you know what everybody's bringing exactly, so there's yeah. like so you don't enjoy it as a as a as a collector as a, as a, or buyer, as a buyer as a buyer as a so and honestly uh, and all honestly as a seller too because sometimes people know that what you're bringing they just want to go in there and hang out they're not really there to buy it's just there to, and so it, it goes both ways buyer and a seller because yes. sellers want to sell buyers so, want to buy so there, there's 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 well now you can now we can talk about strategies as a seller maybe you you can bring stuff you don't bring everything at once right so you bring mm -hmm. part of your store and then the other one try to switch it around bring something yeah. different just to kind of like look fresh I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure about that. But I'm well, not a, well, that a was vendor. The, the last toy show we did, we, we did. I, I gotta Coast. help you out. I just joined. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't okay. So the last and that's that's uh, uh the last the last podcast we did with Jorge from Mister Exchange. Shout mm -hmm. out. Um, we talked about that. Uh, you know, when you become seasoned, you start learning a little bit more about strategy, how you want to set up. Yes. You know, because like I said, when I first opened up a store, I thought everybody's gonna be going crazy for turtles. That wasn't the case. You do, you do, you still have turtle people here, but not as strong as like Voltron and, and Transformers and things okay. like that. So, um, so what I noticed is I, I used to bring on the, my first toy shows, I used to bring these high end pieces, you know, these mm. degraded pieces. And, you know, I don't like people touching the acrylics and stuff, uh, you know, and things like that. I'm like, man, for a couple of, a couple of times, a couple of first shows that I did, you know, it was, I took some hard, high high end pieces and people were admiring it they were oh my god you know how much and i'll tell them the price like oh my god what you know they'll put it back down yeah and, and so that's when i started realizing okay um what's going on here are, are is it the people is it me what, what's you know what so you start thinking about what's the best way to approach people yeah to let them know that you also have more common things you know so things that move up yeah faster. Move, move faster that that's more affordable mm-hmm you know and so yeah that that's why I, you know here more lately i've been putting stuff that's more common but it's it's still a nice nice you know nice piece or nice somebody for somebody's collection mm -hmm. so and it, it does I, I think volume for me has been selling more than you know than the one quality. yeah you want to yeah. say quality when i mean high-end pieces mm -hmm. no and, and you're right you're right but at the same time you never know when the right buyer is gonna show that's up. True. So that's that is true. It's 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 a gamble because you you say okay I'm gonna bring more like common stuff so I can move it mm -hmm. faster, but you never know when the right buyer is gonna show. Like happened to me, uh, two shows ago that the only table that I've ever bought as a as a seller as a seller as a seller not reseller as hey. a seller uh -huh. as a vendor, uh, I bought it for the toy show that it was uh, on the toy museum. Mm -hmm. And I decided to bring an, uh, like a couple of high end pieces. Man, I really wanted that piece too. And, and I brought a, Damn you, a, Eddie. a, a Mailaware Ripster. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I thought it was just going to be like a, uh, yeah, like a showstopper, like, yeah, a eye showstopper, candy, yeah. an eye candy, just to kind of like bring people in. Mm. And it, it ended up selling. Like, I'm like, all right. I, I mean, that's fine. It was you, something, were, you were like, it, all right, but you're like, it was all something, right. My it heart. was something that I, yeah, I didn't want to, I didn't want to necessarily like sell or i wasn't in a rush yeah you gave i mean you you told you said what your i, what I, your I, I put up a fair, yeah. i put up a fair price oh no I, yeah, no your price was good was that was put, a, that was a fair price but at the same time you put your you're gonna put your reasons of who you're gonna sell it to why you want to sell it and where you're gonna sell it yeah like, where's it gonna end up uh, one of the things like I, I will give everybody you know a couple you know if you put it up a price and then just kind of ah oh, you kind of like negotiate a little bit just give up some good deals and all that but I was on that one. I was like, "Man, this is a fair price, mm -hmm. and I don't want to sell this figure. So if it doesn't sell for this price, I'm not." And it wasn't a crazy price. Honestly, like it was a, honestly a fair price, and it sold. It sold yeah. for what I was asking. I was like, "Oh man, God!" And don't worry. I mean, I mean the, the guy that bought it, Eddie. Shout out to Eddie. He he got me he, by. No, but but he uh he got pressured. That, he that's got, the, he kind of got pressured because of, of, of what you said, and I, I think of what I, I said. Know, I didn't know bit. the amount of people that wanted that piece. Otherwise, I would have, like, you know, put it up for auction or something like that. <laughs> because later on, you told me you wanted it. I didn't know you wanted it. Uh, Gilo, like another good friend yeah. of ours, like shout out to Gilo. He wanted it. And there was a couple of pieces. Like, and then they all kind of like talked to each other. And not necessarily pressure, but like they were like, hey, if you don't get it, I'll get it. Like yeah, He was so, kind of asking around. But like, that's hey. pressure. But that, believe it or not, that is pressure. because So, so yeah, he ended up getting it. Uh, uh, well, anyways, at the end of the day, it was one uh, like a high-end piece on a, mm -hmm. on a, on a more common toy show but um but yeah compared to the one in dallas it was it was uh it was a different experience mm -hmm. we definitely saw something that 
you don't necessarily like or you don't well, i could tell you if you have from experience because i've been doing toy shows for already, what like going on three years mm-hmm. and the toy shows that have, i mean they're i'm not gonna say that the toy shows are all, here in houston are always just crap nobody i mean people bring out good stuff i mean they do mm. but i don't know the, i don't know it was a little different for me because i i think i've seen more things in dallas that's, that's what i'm saying like i'm not sure if it is because you've seen everything that houston has to offer because you were there every every other, and then yeah, every once every once in a while somebody brings out like nice pieces. Mm-hmm. But if they don't sell it on the first show, you're gonna keep seeing those pieces, and then becomes repetitive. No matter how good the pieces are, like oh, I already saw them, so you don't get impressed, you yeah. don't get amazed. So that could be one. But being realistic, things that you don't see here that uh, we saw on, on on the Dallas show, like oh my, we saw first shots of Star Wars. Oh man, that's crazy. That's insane. We saw like rare things like you yeah. got a couple of very rare things yeah. on a trade i don't know if you want to talk about it but uh yeah we can uh it was uh uh my first turtle yeah Monsieur. sealed first of all you you rarely see uh, uh my, my first turtle i mean you see them the, with the, with the weapon with the, we- with that's the, like, the accessory the accessory itself. you never see it yeah. and then seeing in a box and then seeing it sealed and in the condition that it was, yeah, it was, a really I, was good I was, yeah, it was a really good condition. Was, I, I would, I couldn't. I mean, it was something that I was excited. I was, I was really excited for that piece. That's the first piece that I see. But then, of course, I seen that you know that Transformers, the Bumble Jumper, that, and then a Bumble Jumper that yeah. you. I don't know much about Transformers, but I know you've been hunting them for a yeah. while. You got the whole rainbow. Rainbow. Oh, oh, oh. I still got a couple more. To, I still got two more to go. But wow. those are from Japan. Those are gonna be really. I have the red one. I'm need the the blue one and the yellow one. Oh wow! wow. And I'll have the whole set of the. Bone and then jumpers. you have like you have them loose, and then you have one graded loose. Yeah, graded loose. And uh-huh. then you have, and then you found one, on its card that just, yeah. you know, rare, very rare. So it was super nice that the guy was. Yeah, he man, that was a uh, like I said, a uh, uh, shout, shout out, out to Sean, Sean know, 181. from uh, one eighty one. He did, uh, you know, I mean, I I think it was a fair, fair, really fair trade. I was very mm-hmm. excited about it. You know, yeah, I gave up a beat of Chuck Mikey, but I mean, it's still a good piece. I I think it was a very fair trade. He wasn't, you know, he didn't try to hit me over the head, and I I, I did the same thing with him. You know, I, don't, I didn't want to be like, oh, because I came out there. The beginning as, as, you tried. <laughs> no, well, yeah, you shot your you shot yeah, your I, shot. It's worth it, but at the same time, I mean, I didn't say, oh man, this guy here didn't want to work with no, me. No, 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 no. He was being. You, we kind of knew that it was going to be a little bit over, but yeah, like, but, ah, if he says yes, it's good, but. But mm-hmm. yeah, the second option was more like a yeah. Sure. I mean, we talked. I mean, you were there with me. We talked about it, and I mean that that's and that's the whole. I don't know. I think I think that's the you know the. That's what I like is is when you have somebody that's, you know, in into the same things you are, mm. and they sometimes motivate you to do it. You know, <laughs> and, and we do that to one each other. <laughs> well, one we, is motivated. One is instigated. <laughs> yeah, well, you're the instigator, of course, yeah. but I'm uh-huh. the motivator. Excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> but um. Yeah, I mean, that, that, I think that I'm not gonna say that pushed me more, but that helped out. That helped out to be like, you know what? I, I mean, yeah, that that piece, that turtle piece was freaking awesome, man. And honestly, you said that I was kind of like motivated or whatever, or just being there. But like, honestly, I was trying to not to, because I don't want to be the reason why like I put peer pressure on someone. Like, yeah, I mean, because I, I, I mean, I know if I do it, like, it's just more like a friend. But if we're playing. You were having fun. I, I would have like, ah, yeah, do it. Oh, yeah, you. If you yeah, don't do it, whatever. I, I, but, but, but I think right, we were there. I was like, I don't want to put too much pressure, and then he doesn't want to do it or whatever. So it's it's cool that to know that you know that that you take it the the, the right way. I know? mean, you, well, you know, you know, I'm very strong minded, so nobody's gonna ever peer pressure me to do something that I'm not comfortable with. I just won't. But I mean, that that's why when I see that you're being sincere, mm. you can see that. So yeah, it yeah. it wasn't like. Do it, do it, do it. You know, I want you to <laughs> fail. It's not, it's nothing like that. There's people out there, of course, but I, I mean, I, I like I said, our, our friendship is genuine. So I know it's not. We're mm. not gonna. We're gonna look out for each other. We're not gonna try to t- do the do the deal. And you know, you're upside down on the deal. So no, I yeah. mean, I, I knew I knew what it was. I, I knew both pieces. You know, I don't think he's too familiar with Transformers. He said he has some other Transformers. So of course, you know, I'm gonna have to hit him up. But um, yeah, I mean, this guy has some great stuff. He has some really good stuff. And uh, I mean. Pretty much every and not only, trans- not only transformers, yeah. he's got like a lot. Yeah, so, so has, if you, you know, if you ever in, in the in the Texas and the Dallas area, you know, check that the store, the, yeah, the 181. 181 comics. Um, it's a it's a good it's a good store. Guys, I'm uh, I'm really confused about something because 
Um, at the beginning, you said that as a seller, you don't want to get a lot of high-end pieces to a show. But then when you go to a show, you don't like that they're really common. <laughs> no, so no, okay, but no, okay, but yes. the, okay, hold on. Well, that's because that's what we're that's talking about. That's a good about. point. That's no, a good no, point. No, but but, the, but there's there's a reason why we're saying that. Yes, I ha I still take out maybe one or two pieces, right, mm. of high end stuff. People people look at it. People you know, but that's that's where I I could draw the line and say there's a difference between here in town and where we went. Because honestly, I seen people buying. So when you see people buying high end as well, they're gonna be bringing out high end, mm. and, oh. so, and so that, that that changes. I think that changes the outcome of how the way people see the aspect of of buying high end. If if, if I if I know that people are gonna be buying high end all the time, let's say a toy show comes around and I just bring out nothing but high end stuff, and and very minimal common stuff, but more high end. If I see it moving. Then I'd be like, okay, this is good. This is this is good. But but that's the, the that that goes into the into the unknown. Like, how do you know it's going to sell or not? Like, I think that the that question that Isaiah is asking, he, he has like a, a simpler answer, and it's yes, you like I, as a buyer, I like to see high end pieces, but in this particular case, uh, for Carlos and he's he's been vocal about it. He doesn't like people touching his his you know high end stuff and acrylics and damaging it because honestly, like on, on on the toy shows, people would just come to your to your table and then you oh oh yeah oh let me see and then I'm like yeah. like and then they ask how much is it oh it's a thousand and then and then very carefully oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh let me oh, yeah now you're treating it like like okay. it is supposed to be but in the beginning you said like. Or letting the kids like letting like literally letting the kids put their hands on top of mm -hmm. that's why you kind of like, put your your hand to the back stuff like mm -hmm. that. But sometimes they just they just reach for it, and I feel like Carlos is more like I don't want people. But but at the end of the day, I don't know. It's weird because I do want to see high end stuff. But if you end up as a seller, I could see it from that perspective. If you see that the things that you bring don't move up, and then. The smaller stuff that you you put up, they sell faster. You're trying. You at the end of the day, you have a limited space on the table, so you have to put whatever you think is gonna sell faster. So sometimes you put yes high end, but then they just okay. Well, look, they don't they don't sell. Perfect example. I mean, Jorge, Jorge, like I said, I'll bring him up again on the last podcast. He said it himself. He used to bring a lot of high end stuff to his toy shows, and I don't know if you recall this. Remember this when he said this. Um. But here in Houston, re people don't really buy. Mm -hmm. high. He, his stuff has to sell. If for him to sell high end, he has to go out. He did toy shows. And that's what I'm getting at is that when you have that experience, I'm not saying that every toy show is going to be, there's nobody, there's never going to be a buyer that's going to buy high end. There, there might be. There mm -hmm. will be. That's why you, I, I still take out some stuff here and there. You know, I'm not going to take out a whole room full of high end stuff, but I'll, I'll take more common stuff now than I will high end yeah. for eye candy. If it sells good, if it doesn't, Okay, whatever. But that's what I'm getting at is I, I believe, honestly, I believe is we talked about region, the region, the, you know, where uh -huh. you're at. People, are, they, this might be more of a, of a collector city or, or, or town that, we, that, that, that are more interested in vintage than they are modern or, or anime. It just, that's just the way it goes. I mean, I've done toy shows where people told me, oh man, you, you'll be pretty much the only vendor for vintage. I'm like, okay. And then it's an anime show, mm. so I take I I'm taking my vintage toys, you know I'm taking what I what I take, and I'm an anime show, and I see nothing but young people, and and I and I just thought about it, like, I just I'm, I as soon as before the toy show even started, this happened a couple of times. I think about it, like you know what? Why am I here? Why am I here? Nobody's gonna want to buy this stuff. Yeah. And sure enough, people are just passing by my table. Yeah. Not buying anything that has. Because they don't know what they're looking at. You have to be strategic on what you bring. So, exactly. So and, that, and that's what, as that's much what as, I'm getting at. As yeah. much as we want to see, eh, 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 and as much as we want to see vintage, but honestly, like the one that we went to 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 Dallas, it was called... The Dallas Expo, right? Something like that. Retro. Retro Expo. Retro Expo. So the, shows tell, the show tells you mm -hmm. what is kind of going to go focus. So it was a retro, or they're like vintage something, something. Uh, but there's just then there's shows that are more focused on on just toys in general, right? Mm -hmm. So so they don't focus on, on necessarily vintage. 
So when you go to the toy museum, it's a museum, you're looking for vintage, mm -hmm. you have a specific, so target. So believe it or not, people who, who, who are looking for vintage, they tend to go to those shows. So you, you, you start becoming more, I will say, you have to become more, more, more strategic. Yeah. But at the end of the day, bringing high end, you're putting up a thousand dollar piece, two thousand dollar pieces, and you're did you're risking it to to, yeah, exactly. to crash your acrylic on the way up or to it's a to, risk. It's, it if is you, a risk. If you drop something like, so I feel like it's just it, it's not that easy. You we you we want to see vintage as a as a vintage, but, as, but as, somebody as else takes the risk. As, as a buyer, I don't want to take the I don't want to be the one risking the. Pieces, you can say right? it like that too. As a buyer, you want to see good stuff, but as a seller, you're gonna be more cautious about. What you and more strategic of how you want to sell what you want to sell because mm. you should know the show, especially that I've done these past two years, I've done the same shows over and over again. So I kind of know now what to take and what not to take. But Yuli's, Yuli's right, and I, that's why I do do that. I'm never not going to bring a couple, at least a couple of high end pieces. That mm. way, people don't have to buy it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not there to. They don't buy it. I'm done with the show. I'm never doing it again. No, it's just if it sells, it sells. If it not, at least it brings it draws people to the to, to where you're at to, to your the booth. booth. Mm -hmm. And and you know, but then they start seeing other things. Like, oh my god, look this piece and it's a PVC or it's a wind up or something that's vintage. Mm -hmm. they, and and they get it. And I mean, something is something. Volume, like I said, if sometimes you have to sell more volume to uh, to make a good you know make make it a good a good toy show as a seller. So. But considering uh, that experience in that show in, in Dallas and what Jorge told you, um, would you say that in Dallas there are more high-end buyers than, than in here? I'm not sure no, if buyers. I mean, it looked like. Well, I could, from my experience, from what I've seen, I, I think so. I don't know. I, I think so, but i only been to one show, so don't, don't, yeah, don't just, take, just take my, you know, that's what so i only I, been to I, one I, show. I, that's, that's what we were thinking about, like, earlier. Like, are there, re are, are like, this really... Or what does what does the 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 region it's affected by? Is it because there are specific people in that region? Like, because you can you can say you can you can say you know California, Ohio, Chicago because of the manufacturers the the, the toy mm -hmm. the toy factories back in the days they were located in Ohio in California, so a lot of a lot of stock a lot of prototypes. A lot yeah. of, you know, there's, there's a, a lot of history. Of a lot of history. Yeah. And then people like, you know, uh, stories like, oh, my uncle used to work at the factory. So mm -hmm. he will get a lot of free stuff. So we got a storage unit full of stuff. So stuff like that. So that's why a lot of, a lot of figures come from those cities. Mm -hmm. But when you talk about Dallas, I think it's a... It's a I, yeah, like I said, me personally, I, I can't... The, the, I don't know I, if it is because... The Dallas Vintage Store is there. That's a huge, but it's also well known. Yeah. Now I don't know the history on in Dallas. There's a couple of uh, big names as far as content creators that stay mm -hmm. there. So I don't know. I don't know what really draws people to to Dallas. Uh, I mean, that's like I said. It makes you think, and that's that. When I we're driving back, I like I wonder, and I honestly I thought about it. Like I wonder what it is that. What, what's the difference? I wonder it's because. Like you you mentioned, we're used to. I'm used to going to the same toy shows, and I see that sometimes. I'm, I mean, there's new stuff. There's always new stuff, but the big stuff that you want to look at, you know, if you're a big time collector or high end collector, mm -hmm. or what, you're trying to find that one item that okay, you know what? As long as I leave with one item, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. But you really don't see that. And the thing about it, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know a lot of these these guys that sell, and I know a lot of these guys have some crazy stuff. But they don't and these guys out. are stingy and they don't want to take it out. <laughs> so that's just like you. Hey, hey. We're talking about that. <laughs> that's not me. So that's what I'm saying is I know, man, there's a lot of these guys have some crazy, crazy things. So, and they don't, but it's their personal. I get it. But and then when there's time for them to sell it, they'll, they'll you know, they'll sell it. But it's just it's just to know that, you know, there's so much I think there's so much potential here in Houston. There, there really is. There's a lot of high end collectors here there's, in Houston. There's, there's like, a lot like, of potential. And I think but nobody that, wants to sell anything. <laughs> and I, and I, that might be the difference. I think maybe Dallas, they are willing to sell it. They do think everything, and that might be a possibility. That's 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 one thing. I don't know. I feel, I feel like like probably the Dallas vintage store is a, is a huge. Like, oh, the stores that they're like big there. I, I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not really sure. But like, there's something that we're so close. But at the at like 
with this one show like i'm not like i said it's just one show yeah, don't get me show. wrong but uh but it was it was a it was a pretty i mean like one. jose jose is always coming up he always has some cool stuff always has some good stuff and that's he, another thing yeah a lot of people bring like a lot of like and he's willing stuff. to sell it that's it some of that man, half of that stuff i would have kept it like that's my <laughs> person but he he's and that's i think that might be you know i think i answered my own question that might be it these, these these guys are more are more willing to sell to move up things yeah to move things and and maybe go to, you know maybe keep one item but sell the, the other 10 and a lot of us including myself i'm not gonna lie like i said mm. i've said it before sometimes things come to the store and i like i gotta keep this i gotta keep this you know i'll figure out how to repay it to the store but i gotta keep it yeah and that that pretty much happened like i said this sunday with this piece that i got oh my god that was, <laughs> it was insane man i couldn't i, could, I couldn't believe it no yeah so. it's a it's a it's a um, i don't know it's just when you're i don't know i feel like there's a lot of collectors here mm -hmm. selling their doubles their extras and there's a lot of collectors there that they're really moving they're moving they don't have doubles they just sell if they get it they they look i think they're more business -minded, orientated i guess yeah. Orientated, mm -hmm. yeah, that, no, then, then it, that might be a possibility i'm not saying that's what it is but that might answer your question there yeah and, and do you think that the the higher buying it higher buyer high end buyers here in Houston are like more used to getting things online than going to shows <sighs> that's a lot of, a lot of speculation in your questions man there's a lot of like well, because he's the only one no one. but no but <laughs> I don't know how many like there's I mean there's high end buyers here but there I don't is. know them all some of them are private collectors some of them they're just I don't know them so you never know what the people are bringing to the Houston area well, I, what well, is I coming think, in or what's coming out I think regardless I think anybody that's going to be a high end buyer has to shop outside oh. of Texas I'm sorry to say it, but we're going to have to No I outside, mean outside, yeah we we said it before I mean eBay's a, a good source I think a lot of people that I know find things from other countries from other states so it's not just within the state or within yeah Texas itself or Houston in general um I think a lot a lot of high end buyers have to, have to have yeah, to they have to buy it. If, either if, ebay i just i just yeah it just you have to you have to it's impossible to like uh just trying to put together a, like a rare collection oh yeah <sighs> i mean unless you have the the the, the perfect the, example the time let's, and the let's, talk, let's talk about your your latest piece yes but that's not that, well that was a coincidence but but no but it, like, it, it was a friend of yeah. ours visiting a store in Las Vegas and he knew he knows that I'm well anybody that knows me he they know that I'm you know all in about the muscle mods mm -hmm. and all of that so he saw this piece the the this uh, hand puppet that uh honestly I thought this this year has been crazy because yeah. I've been finding stuff that I thought I will never find Especially in this toy line because it's so maybe maybe Scarce. I'm the only one buying it because this is crazy. Because, <laughs> but uh, I think you're the only one buying it because everybody said muscle was too expensive. Too That's expensive. the reason why it is too expensive. But I feel like I'm so you know deep into it that yeah yeah not, you, you can't get out of it no more. Nah, I can't. So yeah, it's just, just so stuck. I already had two two hand two hand uh, puppets and then a friend of ours find it on found it on on. Uh, a, very common, very common, uh, very popular, not common, very popular toy uh, store in, in Las Vegas, the, the Toy Shack. Mm -hmm. uh, he called you, he called me, I'm like, do you have this one? I'm like, no, it's literally the one that I need. And it's funny because this is so rare that I feel like there are like a few sets out there, mm -hmm. period, like one, two, maybe three sets. I don't, I don't want, I don't want to know, but. I mean, I don't know, but I don't. I don't think it's. There's a lot of a lot of sets. So yeah. I have two. So it, I had this uh, this two. So it was. If one will come up, they're probably the one that I'm yeah, missing. Yeah. So because there's so few sets, mm -hmm. so it's either that or I just was super super lucky that the one that came up was, was the one, the one that, that I needed, which is pretty crazy. Like honestly, I don't. I cannot express how hype i was <laughs> how crazy it is i don't know if i i don't know if you collect muscle mods if you do i don't know if you've ever seen this like just a lot of people hit me up when i first post put put up like the the, the hand puppet like did they have like like a lot of people didn't even know that they mm -hmm. had puppets now 
to have the the like two hand puppets in one place is crazy. Do you but, even think about having the full set? Yeah, that's, that's so. I don't know how much I can stress or or express like you know how crazy it is to have a full set of the hand puppets of Muscle Mode. And then when this guy hit me, I'm like, dude, you gotta get it. Like I I don't care. He already like worked out a deal. We were able to bring it down a little bit, even a little bit more. So I was happy with the price. Mm -hmm. Fun story. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Not so fun for me, but I'm glad that it was fun for y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, I told him, like, yeah, man, get it. And then I told him right away, I see if I will buy something for any, like, if, I want, if you want me to buy something for you, I'm at a, I'm at a toy show, like, send me the money. Mm -hmm. buy for you right so you never know what's gonna happen yeah. in, in between so i was like when he was buying it like hey let me know give me your paper give me your cell like hey let me know let me know let me know let me know and he was like oh yeah hold on i'm with my family hold on he was on vacation right so he yeah. never responded back responded like with formal payment all right okay man that's cool it's a friend he will be back in houston i'll pay him up here that's cool so somebody <laughs> had a great idea to tell them pull a prank on me so <laughs> carlos told eddie eddie was the guy who who found the piece for me right shout out to eddie shout out to eddie thank you very much now that he really came through thank you mm -hmm. otherwise we will be having a completely different conversation here i would have kept it shut up <laughs> so carlos tell him to, told him like hey dude you should tell him that you want to keep the figure And the guy was like, nah, man. He's like, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. He's more like, he's cool. He's more passionate. He's, he's, he's cool. Like, he's not like, like Carlos. And he, he somehow convinced him. But just the way that I was explaining how important this is for me. So that's how I, how hype I was. Mm -hmm. And then you texted <laughs> me first. Hey, bro, I think Eddie wants to keep the figure. He wants to back out. <laughs> he wants to back out. I'm like, no way. Well, what did he tell you? Like, I don't know that he likes it so much that now that he has it on his hands, he wants to keep it. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I'm like, no, man, this can't, this can't be happening, man. Like, he already told me, like, uh, and then you even added, like, yeah, man, he, he once backed out on me on a deal. And I don't know, like, oh, man, <laughs> like, I was scared. I'm like, all right, man. I was like, I even told Carlos, like, you know what? Don't even tell him that you told me. Like, uh, let him tell me, man, because I'm a... Uh, Man, this is, this is, this is, he cannot be doing this to he's me. So, he's gonna turn a new one, but he's really gonna cry to him. I'm gonna I'm terminate my. I'm gonna cry over it, but I'm, I'm gonna turn my up. As, you know, I want my I want my ripster back. Um, so he texted me right, like I was I was calling him to cry. Now that I think about the phone call, you seem fishy, but I didn't think about it. I was like so worried about it. Like, exactly. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about your answers. That didn't make sense. But <laughs> that's funny about but, it. But but yeah, but but then he texted me. I called him. He didn't answer. I'm like, oh my god, oh, this is really happening. And then he answered like, yeah, man, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I just I don't know why. Like I just want to keep it. Like oh my, come on. But he couldn't hold it on on a call. He couldn't hold it for too long. Like nah, no, nah, man. I'm just kidding. I'm like oh man, don't do that to me. You gave me a heart attack. <laughs> I was bad. Like, and I was able to laugh it out. But man, it was just. It was, it was pretty, I don't know. I, I think well, one of the worst pranks that you ever pull on me, man, is just, I really thought he was going to keep it. And you know, it, it's just. And once he keeps it, it's gone. Like you're never, I'm never going to see that piece again. That's, that's the is reason, that that's the reason why I told him, man, I, I go, let's, let's, let's have fun with it. And see, it was, it was just see guys, like, see, find new friends, like, 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 uh, like find good friends, guys. Don't, don't, don't go with the first guy that <laughs> pops on your alive. And I just, just. just Yeah, no, I mean, I knew how important it was to you. And that's why when as soon as I seen it, like, man, I don't think he has that one. And that's why I hit you up. I'm like, hey, do you have this one? He's like, no. And he's like, I've been trying to save money. I'm like, man, I go, you better get it. I mean, it's, it's, it's like you said, they're kind of as rare as, as, as the other. But, but yeah, but at the end of the day, it's one of those, like, I think it was nerve wracking or whatever, but I feel like it's one of those stories that will add up to the figure. Mm hmm. Uh, and it is true once you get like in your collection you have those pieces that each one of them ha have their story and you can like feel something more attached to them hmm. once you get like a, like a fun story like a, like a friend helping you getting it or 
or now that something was, like that. That happened. was really like, nice of him. I mean, he, like I said, you know, he I actually like, thought about it. And that, that to me is like I said, you know, with, with those small little things, just those small things mean a lot. And, Absolutely. And, you know, for Eddie, Eddie to actually, you know, he's spending time with his family. Of course, he went, you know, toy shopping or he went to mm-hmm. go look around. For him to, you know, take the time to text or and to call or whatever. But it, yeah, it was, I don't know how long it was going to be sitting there, that piece. But for him to, like, I was a. <laughs> it's, it was a it's, coincidence, destiny, whatever. Some mm-hmm. people say when it's for you, it's for you. Yeah. When it's for you, it's going to find you. So it could have been mine, but I'm like, no, you know what? I, I just destiny. I just hey, give it to you. Z- 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 <laughs> <laughs> I believe the, 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 the lesson from, from this story is that if you're a good person and you, yeah, if you have a, a good community, uh, a good, some friends. So right now you have people that are looking for this line. I'm pretty much giving you the the, the chance to to to, mm-hmm. to get these pieces. So it's, it's not only you trying to get mm. the, the, this complete line. So you have now people. And I think. That I think. Off, yeah. But you do the you same. Know, you do yeah. the same. Like I yeah, help people. Right, yeah. yeah. So so. And that's what what we talked about trading. Trading was a, was one of those keys that we talked about. Is you know that that Sam that you have. I would That's never. A, anybody else could have got it because they could have offered it. He had so much money. They could have mm-hmm. traded him all kinds of things and he decided to give it to you. Why? Because you see that you're getting because deep of, into yeah, it. Yeah. And, no, and, and, the, and friendship, the friendship, and the friendship and the that friendship. you have with that. So that's, that's the thing, mm-hmm. right? So a lot of people think that just money will move anything yeah. and then you will do anything. Just like, and it's not like, this, collecting is more than just the, more than just money. And, you know, having those relationships of friendships really pays up. I, and I don't do friendships just to, to find better deals or whatever. Like, no, I really like hanging out with people, talking yeah, yeah, with exactly. people uh, about toys and, and, and collectibles and all these kind of things, you know, weird things that, that people might find boring. Nerdy or whatever. Yeah, but 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 it really helps a lot. Like, I, I've, I've found really good piece like a lot of people even even from from sharing you know i like to share my 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 every time that i find something i like oh and it's not you i don't know i i hope we can tell that it's not to show up to show off mm-hmm. i kind of like just to show you know ah, this is a nice piece look you know and i found this and i found that uh, and then i found pieces because people hit me up like oh, hey man i have something similar and stuff like that so mm-hmm. so sometimes i don't even i'm not even looking for it like just by showing they know you. Didn't, they find yeah. you. Like it happened to me with the with the epoch uh, Bulma. I was just super happy that I found the Goku on, on on his box, and this guy hit me up and talked like, "Yeah, I got this Bulma. It's not for sale, but you know, it's cool." And then a friendship, like a, a relation, like we started like talking and all that, and and then later on, you know, he was like, "I oh, you know, I'd be willing to 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 sell slash trade," and so that was pretty cool, man. Like yeah, that's, that's how you find stuff. Like a lot of people like to be either private or very like reserved about their stuff and they don't want to they don't like to share they don't want to like to talk but honestly I, I can tell you like a lot of my pieces a lot of like high end pieces I found because of friendships because of relationships that I've done with people like hey just just and I think more so just putting yourself out there and to let people know that you know you're not you're not into it to be malicious you're not into collecting to be you know competitive you're not into the mm. the you know I, th- I think that that goes a long way for any toy collector. I think people that are competitive, they make it into competition. It becomes more, more of a if business. If I see it, even if I don't need it, I'm not gonna tell them because but, then. But he's gonna... it, it, to me, it stresses. I think it will stress you out more because, of course, if it's if it's a competition or if it's a it's a business, you're gonna see it as like, oh, that guy's not gonna get it from me, no matter what. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get it, and then when you, if you don't get it, you're gonna be petty about mm-hmm. it. You're going to be upset about it. So what is the purpose behind that? You know, yeah. for what if, if this is supposed to be a fun thing. Yeah, you, you said, look, I, I have a little different out- outlook of it, but you do have to have money to collect. You do. I'm sorry to tell you, but you do. But at the same time, uh, uh, depending hold on. on the level. Yeah. yeah. But that's what I'm saying. But depending on the level. Now, I like I said, you made some trades. There's money. Of, there's going to be money involved. I don't want to sit here and say, oh, you know, because there's people that say, oh, these guys have money. They could say that they could just throw money out like that and think it's nothing. No, it is. I mean, I just want to be. I just want to generalize ourselves for everybody mm-hmm. from top, top level to bottom, whatever, whatever, a starter, mm-hmm. a person that's just starting. 
money is going to have to be involved because regardless, I think a hobby can consist of money. A yeah. hobby is always going to consist of money, but it's money that you don't mind spending because it's the hobby, something you enjoy doing. It has to doing. be something, yeah. Yeah, you enjoy doing. So that's why I don't see it as, as a, as oh, it's only trading. But those little things as we as we talked about trading and, and especially trading with somebody that you build a relationship with or a bond because you, you like the same thing and they're willing to, you know, give you that option that mm. the dog, you know, Eddie could have got it for himself. Yeah. If, if I wanted to be an asset, like, I, I want it. Yeah. yeah. You know, you just things hit, like yeah, that. Yeah. And, and we, well, we know, and I mean, you made a pet even like, hey, if you see this piece, let, let me get the first dibs on it. And that's all we do. Even when it comes to bidding, we talked about it, mm. you know, from the beginning. So it's just like it's it's a it's a bond, it's a friendship you create with with that somebody or you know with with the group, wh- whichever group. You, yeah. But you know, but when once you make it into a competition, a competition, that's that's when it gets ugly. That's when you know people start doing things behind your back. People people start talking behind your back, you know, because they envy the stuff that you have, or they get jealous, or yeah, or yeah. vice versa, you know. So that's that's just one of those things that. I, I just, you know, if, if it becomes a, a competition or you get competitive, then it, you're you're not you're not really collecting anymore. You're just more so just trying to up that person, up one that person, mm-hmm. and that's that's what I'm saying. Like you know, when trading, to me, when you trade somebody, you have to have that relationship because yeah. if not, it's not gonna go through. Like or just people just they don't they don't. They, they don't some people don't get that, and it, 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 it is what it is. You know, people don't understand that, and and some people will. And, and honestly, I think it's a lot more fun. You know, you could you could talk, you could hang out, and you could talk about stuff that you like. You know, stuff that you're 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 you know you have you're familiar with. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the the lingo, like I said, the nerd lingo that you know <laughs> you could have your you could have Isaiah right here that don't know nothing about uh, uh the the let's call it the Dino Riders, and he's like, what is, what are y'all talking about? But Raúl Pelón could be here and telling you all the details about it. And he's like, he'd be lost. But but you know, it, but it's but you know, like I said. But then that could also build a bond, and he's like, mm. you know what? I do like that. Maybe I want to look into that. So that's what I'm saying. That, that's that's where it, it becomes where I feel if 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 you just have a good relationship and and let it be a fun hobby, it's gonna remain that way. It's gonna yeah, it's gonna pay it off uh, at the end, whether mm-hmm. with with a just just at the end of the day with a good friendship or. People helping you, mm-hmm. it becomes more like a like a like a like a like a village, you know, trying to put your 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 collection together and because you do the same, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And a, a a perfect example of that is that sometimes you guys don't know you don't know this, but sometimes I get into marketplace or, or another websites and I change the location to see if I can see anything, and I sometimes put like mad dog uh, toy and stuff like that to see if even any other country somebody's putting something out or anything and I, I do that from time to time and the reason is because it's really intriguing how rare this line is mm-hmm. and that's something that, that that even got into me so so yeah it's just it's, try it's to find it yeah I, I've, been try, I've been trying to i've been trying to find it in in latin america or in europe but it's really weird and i i, I don't put muscle mods I put like a mad dog, big head dog, and, and stuff like that to see if if, if something com- comes Some up. Some pops but, up. But yeah. yeah. No, it's 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 well, it, that particular one is really rare, but but yeah, like that's that, that's what the hunting is about. Like I don't, I sometimes don't have the patience to do that, but because marketplace is a, it's a, for me, it's a kind of like dark place. Like I don't, I've tried it before. I I don't get like I don't fully get it. I know a lot of people have found that some. Yes. Really good deals. I guess I'm missing on those, but uh, same here. But it's a, it's a nice it's a nice place also to to find to find. Same here. Uh, I mean, yeah, same same thing. I don't even. I don't know. I, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it just just need to be very patient. Like, but but yeah, it just uh, I, that's cool. I didn't know you you had the habits the habits to do that. Is yes, I guess you do have a hunter in you. Maybe you'll <laughs> join. Maybe you'll join us pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> or just helping and, us to find it, and I'll start putting pranks on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a fun it's a fun hobby. I think I think whenever you you see it as a hobby, you see it as a way to 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 connect with people mm-hmm. to find. Like I think just I, I at the end we're gonna I, I've always said it and I'm gonna say it again and I will always say it. The best thing of collecting is it's it's the the people that you know the friendships and the stories yeah the stories. Uh, more than anything, if you ever want, you know, want, you know, end up losing everything, 
hopefully not but mm -hmm. but you you keep the friendships you keep the stories the memories, the memories. You, yeah, like i said just to just to know that you know there's people out there that are willing to help you out i mean people that you don't even you haven't even seen in person but there's still a connection and and i don't know it may sound corny whatever but at the end of the day that's what it is i mean You know, sometimes people send me things like, hey, do you have this? I'm like, no, but I'll look out for it. And I really do. If, if I see it, mm -hmm. and there's been times that I've done that where they look for this certain figure and I, I don't have it. I don't know anybody that has it. But as soon as it pops up, you know, and there's been times like, hey, I found it. Yeah. yeah. I found it. Like, oh, man. Thanks. Awesome. Where, where can I find it? And I, I send them the link. I'm like, that has nothing to do with me trying to resell anything. Here, just go. helping somebody yeah, out. Just helping yeah, just yeah. I mean, there's there's times that no, me you, too. Because I, sometimes I think I, honestly, with with time is gonna repay, and and things are gonna walk in. Things are yeah, gonna walk into to me. You know, I have a I have a friend in in in, in Mexico, Monterrey, and in, in, in Javi, and he's like, hey man, what do you think about this? Like, oh come on, come on, I, I hold on, I, I I know a guy that has a better price on it, or trying to help him out, and mm -hmm. like, cause you know, especially with it, he's trying to get the funky pets, he's trying to get stuff from Japan, and then. The, He sees it on eBay, like, no, 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 don't buy it on eBay, man. Like, hold on, let yeah. me, I'll, I'll find you something cheaper. Like, I'd like to, you yeah, know, yeah. help a friend or stuff like that. So, but I know people will do eventually or, or has done that for me. So that's a pretty cool thing about the community for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, like I said, it's, it's just one of those things where when it's, like we said, when it's a hobby, You, you'll connect more people than, than with, when you're in competition. I think, I think if anything, you're going to steer people away from you and, You just start seeing it as a business. You can think everybody's against you. So, you know, why why do that? Mm. Why do that to yourself and why, you know, put yourself out there like that? And there's uh. a lot of people that are like that. There's people that are like that. And I guess if that works for them, that works for them. But I, I think personally you get you get more help when you're actually, you know, positive you're help, about yeah. it. I've, I've seen a lot of, yeah, a lot of sellers and resellers that, that they really just give out deals and then that you know that the people will come back to them. And then mm -hmm. there's a lot of sellers that I would like, that I like to buy from them, like, Cause I know they're like, I know they're making money, but they're not trying to rip me off mm -hmm. every time that I buy from them. And then, and I've had times where like this guy took advantage of me because I didn't you talk know about that. Jose, right? Uh, Jose, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, Jose is a good seller. He's a, he's got good prices. But uh, but no, nah, but but one time you know that 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 once they they kind of like uh, this guy and whatnot, you know the 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 really. Toy Legends, well, let's say what it is, right? So mm -hmm. he's not even there, so I don't care about saying it because he's not selling anymore. But mm -hmm. he he did, you know, did us bad. And I'm like, all right, you just, I don't buy it anymore like mm -hmm. from you. So let's learn. I'm just not going to buy from from you anymore. Like, if you, if you did that to me, like, why would you come back? So oh, yeah, if you yeah. see that in someone else, why would you do that? Like, and then I've, uh, anyways, I don't want to get more deep into it. That uh, situation, but yeah, I mean, like I said, well, well, I mean, the thing about it is that you put trust in somebody, and I mean that, like you said, you, you know, with Toy Legends, he, um, I, and I bought a lot of stuff from him, and he did, he did good. I mean, that's why I kept coming back. But then I guess you know, he started getting, yeah, he started getting, you know, spread or whatever. He started like running out of items, and they started like putting. He to me, he told me that a piece was complete, and it wasn't, and then it was stuff like that, and I go. Well, yeah, I mean, me personally, mm -hmm. I just say sometimes, sometimes as a reseller, and this is, I think you're coming, we're talking about reselling now. I mean, you're just trying to be a seller, not a collector. You're not going to see the piece as, as the way we do. And as I mentioned, I'm a reseller as well, but I never, I'm never going to use, take that advantage of somebody and say, well, I'm a reseller, so I want half off. If, if it's for me personally, mm -hmm. I'll give you what it's worth, whatever you want. We, we'll negotiate, but at the same time, I'm not going to be, hey, I expect you to knock it off mm. 50% off because I'm a reseller. And so there's guys that, that try to take that, you know, with them and try to take advantage. Yeah. And what it does is honestly, that you know, they think that that is working is actually doing the opposite. And so that's why, you know, I, I, when I do that, when I am, when I'm at my store, you know, guys come in, try to sell before we even cut a deal before I tell them, look, this, this is the way it goes. You know, hiring figures, I'll do fifty percent of what it's worth. Mm -hmm. We could we could look at the 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 sold the sold listings, not what it's going for, because people cast for the craziest yeah, amount. Yeah. To, to be fair, what is really selling yeah, for. and that's why. So they could feel, especially high end, because they're gonna sit there for a while. Like you putting in money that yeah. you never know. And so and it, it, it like cards and things like that. You know, things that that was so take a little longer to sell individually, 
we talk about price, but before anything, I always tell them, you know, what what percentage, you know, from 40 to 50 percent, depending on what the item is, common or, or mm-hmm. high end. Then, then, then we could take it to the next level. They say, "Okay, I, I'm but, still but that happens when people come to you. One, one thing yeah. is people come to you. And one other thing is yeah, you exactly. go to people and ask for everything fifty percent out of this crazy. Anyways, what? Well, well, I, I, I got one more question. What would you say to to someone that might take this conversation out of context and then have a situation where? you are trying to bid on, on some piece and, and you outbid that person and then that pe- that person gets mad saying that, yeah, you're saying all this stuff about the community and stuff, but then you, you, you outbid me on something that I want. And what would you say to someone that, that, that might take that um, out of context saying that uh, it's, a, it's a competition, but then you're saying that it's this is a, a community and helping each other, but then you outbid me. What, what would you say to someone like that? <laughs> That's fun because the only place where I know that you can see who's bidding against you is one nut. Mm-hmm. And that has brought like interesting, like, that's an, a, that's like an, an interesting, interesting take. That's an interesting because question. Because on, on eBay or any other platform, you usually don't see who you're bidding against. Mm-hmm. And one nut is different because it's kind of like a community. It's like a, like a social media. It's because a live every, auction. Everybody knows each other. Like not everybody, but you can track, you can see, and you can follow who is bidding against you. And yes, but at the end of the day, it's a ruthless um, thing there. Like nobody has ever, co- well, I, I think people have have complained, but if you have a, like like with Carlos and I, like we're like, we start like bidding against each other. And then it's like, what are we doing? And like, if you found it first, if you like, we came up to an agreement, not only on one but also on eBay and all that. Like if you find it first, let me know. That way I can, you know, I'll stay away from it. That way you don't, at least you don't, you're not paying for my bid. And then the other way around. But most of the times, it's fair. Nobody gets mad because you beat against them. But there has been okay, some so, situations so where like I could, people... I could say from my experience, so I, I had that pet with with, uh, with Yuli, and I had a pet with uh, GSB. He's a, he's a really good... He's also an awesome guy, you know, the guy that was on WhatNot. Um, and we made that pet as well. I, and I think, I think we make that pet more... With people that that we know we're willing to to go all out, you know, mm-hmm. when it comes to a piece that we want, like there's no point of running each other up because we, yeah, because if that's what's I want, gonna happen. I'll go yeah. Just, that's what's gonna happen is that we're, we're we're gonna go crazy and and sometimes it, is. but at the same time it's fair game and honestly and honestly Isa, there's been times that, and I've said it before, I w- I won't bid a, a homie up if if he's a good you know, as bad as I want it. Sometimes I don't want it that bad. It's just maybe something I could, you know, sell at the store or, you know. But if it's for my personal collection, then, you know, then it's been, I'm, I could say a handful of times that I have bid, you know. But I put a big bid and then they'll know, okay, this guy put a big. So most of the times they'll stop bidding because they're just running it up. But at the same time, it's, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to get upset because it's happened before. It's Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird because you know who's bidding against you. But you don't. Usually, you don't know them personally, and if you and, and that's what that's that's pretty much the answer. I don't know. It's, just it's, weird. it's, it's not weird. a personal. It's, weird. it's it's not it's not you're not trying to steal it from the guy because you and that guy want it as, as much as you know. I, I like say for instance, me and you are on one, and I don't. I really don't know what you like, and you don't know what I like. So we start bidding against each other. It doesn't mean that I'm trying to bid you up, and vice versa. Maybe you want as much as I do. So that's the reason why I don't see it. It's a, um, you know, it's it's one of those things where. But when you do know somebody, when you actually know somebody, you know what the person likes. That's when it gets a little tricky. And, and you know, I, me personally, I always try to be the bigger person and not bid against them. But then it gets tricky because you sometimes know the seller. That's and the, that's and then you, you, wanna, you want the seller to do good. That's another thing that you don't, you don't necessarily want to run people up. But you like if it's something that you might want and all that, and, like, and you know the seller, like you don't want to let this like... I don't know, you know, like it's just weird because you know, I bought a couple of things from Carlos, like a movie star, the best, uh, the best, the, whole, the whole worst, whole the worst. Collection. But I didn't have it, but I didn't want it to go for for too cheap. And I was like, all right, let me just because I knew the seller, so I knew Carlos. And I was like, I don't want him to 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 you know, if I if I need the figure, not that I need it, but I, I don't have it. Yeah, I can, you do need it. What are you talking about? Uh, anyways. So, <laughs> so there's stuff that I, all right, just let me just show show support to the seller. 
so that's another thing. Like I bought a couple of things that that I, I yeah, it's cool if I have it, but I would do you need I, it? Not really. I would yeah. yeah. So this, it goes both ways, right? So you don't want to beat up a homie like like Carlos said, but you don't want to let the the seller take a loss too big, because then he will he will stop selling stuff for for cheap or I don't know. Yeah, uh, no, it, it goes it, it goes both ways. It's happened before. I mean, like I said, me personally, I, I've said it before that. Like my last one nights. I mean the the last last ones. I'm gonna say the second to the last one. Because these times, those times weren't weren't you know the economy wasn't doing so good. So I, I noticed that there was and it wasn't just my stream. You know, of course, you strategize. You look you look at other people's streams. You see how much things are going for. And like man, it's you know it's not. It used to be a lot higher than this. So you, you know me pretty much like I said, if I could find another avenue to make money, and you know at at market value, not not try to you know poke people's eyes out and try to <laughs> you know get as much money from out of them but um then i just I, I decided let me take a little little rest from whatnot and then i'll get back into it you know and i did a couple of times and it went pretty good but um yeah i mean like like you said there's always one that's a little crazy because there's always like different reasons why and, somebody and, would be and, 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 and you can chat with people you know like it's yeah. more personal when it's eBay, when 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 it's eBay or or, or other platforms, like, you, you, don't know, you don't know them. Like that's 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 a cool thing about it. Like you don't feel remorse. But I mean, me personally, like I said, it is it's, it's nothing that I would feel like if I really want the piece. And and there has been guys that done that for me too. They actually done that. And I appreciate that. You know where I put a big bid and and these guys bid once and I see that they bid and then they stop. They stop bidding. They done it to me too. And and I've done the same. Sometimes I don't even bid. I'm like, oh man, he's gonna get a good deal, but. All right, and I just mm. look away, so I, you know, let, I let them win it, and I don't say anything. You know, good, nice win. If anything, I congratulate them on the yeah. win. But then I tell myself, I mean, I wanted it, but it's not something that I, that I really, really, really needed. <laughs> so if I really, really, really need, I really want it. I don't care who's, then, like, who's on the yeah. other side. <laughs> and that, that, and that's pretty much how. The, but yeah. it usually something like that on one night doesn't happen too often, where you're like. I really need this piece. Yeah, it's really gonna happen like on eBay or something like it's that. It's a high end collector. It's rare to a one note is more common common pieces. You know, you have yeah. some you have some people sending some good high end stuff from time to time. From but at time, same to time, time, but it's. Gonna I feel be. like it was more like in the past. I think it was more. You will find more rare. Look to me, I could tell you lately. Yeah, well, maybe I haven't been on the on the app. For, no, I've been uh, so I've been on whatnot from as a buyer like pff, almost four years already. Mm -hmm. yeah. Almost four years, and it was like only two guys streaming. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, a, a lot of these, even bef man, before four people were selling, and I really knew, and, and it was good. It was really good. I mean, these guys were selling some some really high-end stuff and mm. at a good price, you know, and I was just buying it up, buying it up. And that's what got me addicted to it, <laughs> from buying and buying and buying and buying. And then, you know, eventually, like I said, I started selling. So, you know, it, it's, um, but like you said, it started kind of, I think everybody sells now, and everybody sells all kind. Of, but it's it's a good thing too because then you find yeah, because a lot of people sell the, their doubles. They just have the platform there. They're just real quick to to mm -hmm. move. Up, Easy you know, buck, so yeah. it's, it's good. Yeah, it's another like I said, another avenue to make money to to you know if if you want to be a reseller like Yuli. <laughs> so if if it is someone you know, it would depend on the uh, on on the piece, right? It would depend if you actually need it or if that person is Sometimes really into when, that when piece. Sometimes when it comes to, to Carlos and I, it's. We are very vocal with each other on who wants what. I know he likes some transformers. He knows I like muscle mods. I know he likes mode too more than I do. He knows I like, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, Saints Say yeah, more than like uh, there's stuff that he's not interested in or, or Dragon Ball. I don't know. So when a piece come out, whoever finds it first, if we both want it, it's whoever, yeah, whoever, it's whoever finds it first. It happens when when the in the, the um, Dick Tracy the blank, we yeah. both wanted it. I found it first. I called it, but then I had to back out because I didn't have the resources. So I was all about you just 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 you, you just go and get it. And he got a great deal on it. A great deal. A great great deal on it. <laughs> so I still don't have. My, I mean, I, 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 I got have, an okay deal. It's I still even. haven't got my 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 finders feel my fi my finders feet. But um, it was an okay deal. Yeah, great whatever. Deal. You was you were gonna pay a lot more for an ungraded piece, so don't be sick. No, no, no. Ah, okay, no, no, no. Ah, ah, no I wasn't. I you wasn't, were. I was gonna be around it, the same amount, but it, it had been a good, mo, a good not condition. Not the same amount. Yeah, yeah, it was gonna be about nah. the same amount. It was just had been in the same condition that I kind of what I was looking for. It wasn't. But it wasn't graded. 
It Even was, if it was a, a girl, I was going to send it to Grady. Anyways, um, so if it's a piece that we both wanted, kind of like whoever finds it first. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes if I if I know he wants it more, it's just I, I just I found this for you. See, you know, sometimes he he will take it, sometimes won't. Happened okay. with me with the with the muscle mud. So yeah, I mean, like I said, this it was just only right. I mean, there was no like what. I mean, I like muscle mud. I'm but I'm I'm not gonna say I don't because I mean, and I actually started liking them because of Yuli because I never seen I didn't even know about them. And the first time I seen it is when I actually seen it in Yuli's cave. So I was like, what the hell? These things are free. Uh-huh. You know, okay, like the Ripster. I don't have nothing street sharks, but I at least want to have one high end, the, the, like the, the, one of the most, you know, high end pieces. Yeah, recognizable high end. high end piece from. So that's why I wanted that piece. You know, and I think I think street sharks are cool, but I don't really, I'm not really, but the muscle ones, for some reason, that to me is what caught my, you the colors. It. Yeah, yeah. Everything about it. And so. So you were saying that. If you would have known me, like, or if you didn't, I don't know, you would have gotten that, 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 that. I pro- yeah, I would have. You would have gotten them. See, see I, that, I that, would have. See, I would, I mean, if, 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 you, if you hadn't seen them in person, do you think you would have liked them the same way? What do you mean in person? Like, actually see the Well, the thing person. about it is... is no, they're, you, they're muscle muts, not this Muscle muts. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, the muscle muts, Yuli had a picture of them a while back, and like, okay, that's, I just seen the logo. Okay, but then when I actually seen it in person, so yeah. I've I seen it in picture before I even seen it in person, and I was like, okay, that's pretty cool, but I didn't think anything of it. Like I yeah. didn't see, I didn't know how big they were. I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know the texture. I didn't. Yeah, the feel of it. And then once I actually seen it, like, damn, these things are pretty cool, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and so that that to me, like, it, it, I gravitated around, and that's just what it would happen. I mean, I just like the the, the item, and it happens a lot. And you know, it can go both like ways. Said, he he gave me first dibs on the ones he had, you know, open, and that's why you know I I, I appreciate that because. They come out on eBay, but the whole set is kind of hard to find them. Believe mm-hmm. it or not, and when you do, you're gonna pay a lot more. So that that that's where the friendship, the camaraderie, yeah, the, the you know, like hey, you get first dibs. You know that that's that's where we talk about. You know, like there's times that that you know I'm pretty sure you're doing that for other people too, not just with me. You know, tell Jose or 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 you know Raul gave you the the, the first dibs on on the tiger sharks things yes. like that you know yeah, it's like yeah. you help each other out and that's that's what we talk about that's how about. you find some some of the of the yeah that's high how you, like, yeah, you know you have some high end, you have some other high end collectors and they know how you're passionate about. we talked about levels you know i'm pretty sure that well they know that that Yuli's on another level so same thing with me you know we we we're, we're willing to spend thousands of dollars on figures not because we have the money, it's because we have the passion for it. And that doesn't yeah. mean we're more passionate than the other person than the person that collects less or pays less. It's just some people wouldn't have a wouldn't even ha- think about man. I'm, I'm gonna spend five hundred bucks on this figure. You get out of here, <laughs> you know. And, and some people, but we're like, we'll do it. We have something crazy going on. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, all right, guys. So we, we're gonna we're gonna have to stop it there. Um, we're pretty happy, pretty happy with what I've gotten. Yeah, I mean, this, week. this year, like, no, not just this week. This year, man, it's been this year, pretty like, crazy. I, I, I think I already passed it. Like, I wanted to do a, like a six month recap, and then kind of like I think it's it's you know it's we're almost done with July. I wanted to do it on the on the first of July. Kind of like I, I mean, we're to, close to December. We'll do our n- but I kind of wanted to I kind of wanted to do a, like a six month recap of the first six months, and then like, but man, the first six months. I feel like you're already bitten Boy, yeah, my last year of fun. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So oh, those yeah. first six months and what is coming up in this next six months, I think is going to break. Like, like, I don't know. This year is going to be crazy. I don't, I, I, I'm going to need more than a top 10 by the end of the year. That's fine. Uh, we could do and that. I think you too. Man. You, you, you find could, some could, great, great pieces. Something really interesting is that uh, this line is really rare. And we've been documenting the journey of of completing yes, it on that's, the podcast that's, and yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's incredible, Absolutely. that's unique for sure. Well, yeah. there it is, guys. So hopefully, hopefully somebody appreciates that. It seems like every <laughs> every every other week we have a new muscle yeah. muscle piece here in the cave, and I mean it's like it's, it's awesome. It's awesome, you know. Yeah, and, and thanks and to uh, to you know the people that help you get it, you know. But that's what it comes out to. Like, I and said. if you want to see something new, I, I will. I wasn't gonna show it until later, but I got one of the other portraits. That's nice. Isn't I don't it? know if you can see the reflection or not. No, that's that, that's good. That's good. Is it that's in good. this one? In this one, yeah, that one's. Good. All right. So I had two of the portraits. If if anybody knows, I'm wearing the shirt. 
mm-hmm. with the four uh, portraits, original portraits of the author. It's mm-hmm. there. It's signed by the original author. It's it's hand painted. Uh, I had two of these portraits, and now I got the third one. And fun story or crazy story or sad story. <laughs> the fourth one, like nobody knows where it is. Like the so, hunt, the hunt is still on. So yeah, so it's it's fun that we have this four. Um, the four portraits, portraits uh-huh. digitalized. That's how they had it made back in the days, and we got a copy of them. Mm-hmm. So I was even crazy about, like, I went crazy when I got the two portraits, and then now this third portrait. But it's also kind of like sad or bitter or whatever that I won't be able to have the full set, just because nobody knows where the the fourth portrait which is it may be um, out there man it may, may know, be pe- out people there, see hopeful, this podcast like hey you know what i think where's that i think i know where's that. The, uh, you just never know hey you were yeah. able to find the three sets of puppets i it's mean cra- never yeah. say never man never i, I, I never. don't know uh, hopefully 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 i can just be hopeful anyways so thank you guys there you go uh another piece of muscle wants history mm-hmm. there uh so i hope you guys appreciate it uh hopefully one day i can do a full display of all my whole collection so hopefully one day i'll, I'll do a video of it but uh, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, if you got, you know, all, all the way here, yeah. subscribe to the channel, comment, uh, leave us a comment, you know, like, all that, share. Thank you, guys. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.